This is what the bones look like when, they, uh, when we first expose them in this, these boggy sediments. Those are two femurs in the one photograph and then a string of vertebrae in the other. So much of the skeleton was there. We recovered about 95% of the skeleton. You can see the layout for the bones uh, as we took a photograph and strung string uh, in a, a grid pattern so we could make a map. We took those photographs from that bucket in the upper right. You can see it in the upper right part of the photograph. Um, so we had gained the trust of the construction workers uh, to the point where they would work with us and we asked to go up in the bucket and they said, sure, let's do that. Uh, I'm sure OSHA would complain about that today. This was back in 1988. So that's the layout for the skeleton. It turns out it was all there except for the other humerus. Uh, the, a part of the tusk had, uh, tusks had been lost and one of the uh, one of the tongs in the, the bucket uh, for, the, uh, for the lift had snagged one of the cheekbones for the skull and had broken it away and we lost that. We never, we never, did, found that, never did find that. Probably had snagged it before we, they realized there were bones in the bog. You'll see that in a moment. So here's a, here are labels for all those bones. The skull was uh, exceptionally large. And we were worried that it would fall apart and crack if we didn't encase it in plaster and burlap. So we, we did that. We had to keep all of the bones wet because that rib had twisted, that broken rib that was on, this, on the bank had twisted like a pretzel. And that indicated to us that collagen was still in the bone. Collagen is the flexible part of bone. The, protein that makes bones flexible and allows ribs to expand. Other ribs that we took out, we could hold above our, uh, above our heads and we could bend them and they would spring back. I had never seen that in any kind of fossil. Fossils are almost always brittle instead. So we realized that fast drying would mean that the bones would crack and split. So we had to keep them wet as we excavated. So we had people who were uh, assigned the responsibility of scooping water out of the bog and keeping all the bones wet as we worked. And then we wrapped them in wet burlap and, uh, and then in plastic as we took them back to the labs. And then in the labs, it took a long time for them to dry out.